Welcome to Swish and Flick, an all-Potter podcast. Swish and Flick, everyone. Swish and Flick. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Swish and Flick. I'm Tiffany. I'm Megan. I'm Katie. And I'm Sarah. And we are really excited to have you joining us for a reread of the Harry Potter series. Happy one-year anniversary. My name is Kara, your loyal New Jersey Hufflepuff. Hey guys, it's Callie from Texas. Hi Katie. Hi Sarah. Hi Megan. Hi Tiffany. I'm Stephanie Arts. I'm from Turtleford, Saskatchewan, Canada. Hi, I'm Tamron from Perth, Australia. Hi, my name is Stephanie Santapio and I am from Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Regine and I am a proud Gryffindor. Um, I live outside Nashville, Tennessee. My name is Julie Murphy and I live in the United States. Hey ladies, Mackenzie from Chicago. Hi guys, Jess Brittany here from Sydney, Australia. Hey guys, my name's Lexi and I'm from North Carolina. Hi, it's Kara from Toledo, Ohio. Hey gals, this is Dana from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Hey guys, it's Robert. I'm 24 from Oklahoma. Hi, my name is Katie and I'm a proud Hufflepuff. Hey guys, so my name is Radha Patel and I live in New York. Hey guys, it's Libby from Blackwood, New Jersey. Hi, I'm Nicole from Long Island, New York. Hi everyone, my name is Sophia and I'm from Texas. Hi, I'm Megan and I am from the United States, from Illinois. My name is Jennifer Lopez. I live in Northern California. My name is Sarah, I'm from Sweden. Hey guys, uh, my name is Rex. I'm from Orlando, Florida. Hey Megan, Katie, Sarah, and Tiffany. My name is Jessica Shaler. I am from Charleston, South Carolina. Hey guys, it's Amanda in Mississippi. Hi, my name's Rowan and I'm from the UK. Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I am in California. Hi Swish and Flick, happy birthday. I'm Jenna and this is River. We're coming from you from, from Hampshire, Illinois. I'm Hannah. This is Raisy. And Silver Snail. We live in England. Hey guys, my name is Mandy. Um, I live in Boston, Massachusetts. Hey, it's Lacey from Indiana. My name is Sage. I'm from Bridge, Canada. Hey guys, my name is Jessica. I am Sarah. I've been a Swisher since October 2017, and I live in Ohio. Hey ladies, it's Christina from New York. Hi, I'm Steph from New Jersey. Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm from Massachusetts. I started listening to your podcast back in December and was instantly hooked. Then I joined the Facebook group in February. What took me so long, right? I finally had people to talk to about Harry Potter. I can't believe the instant friendships that I formed just because we had one thing in common. Turns out you have a lot to talk about when you love these books. I want to thank you ladies for creating such a positive space for us Swishers to call home. We love you. I have been a Swisher since almost the beginning. I actually came up with the term Swisher. <laughs> so, you know, anytime you use that, you owe me like a quarter. Not really, but um, Megan, Katie, Tiffany, and Sarah have changed my life. Um, I have incorporated Harry Potter into my life more than I ever, ever thought possible. And I've also met amazing people in the group. I've made probably lifelong friends there. And I just wanted to say thank you ladies for changing my life for the better. And thank you so much for all your hard work. This has been an amazing year. Thank you so much. I have been a part of Swish and Flick for about a year now. And I would say that apart from it being an escape from staring at my phone too much because it hurts my eyes so badly, needless to say, it's just such a great community. Like, I would say that the way it's impacted me the most 
is that sometimes if I'm having a bad day, whether I post about it or not, I know all of you are rooting for me to have a good day or for things to get better. So I appreciate it. Um, to the admins, I'm so, so happy for the community that you've created. It's seriously just such a warm and fuzzy place. So thank you. I know how sleazy, sleazy, cheesy it sounds, but I swear I can talk and I mean all of it. And uh, don't let the muggles get you down. And uh, remember that Florence is always here. I've been a Swisher now for six months. And first of all, happy first birthday to Swish and Flick podcast. Katie, Megan, Tiffany, Sarah, you have done an amazing job and should be super proud of what you've done. You've done this hilariously fun podcast and just, it's so easy to recommend you to anyone who is a Harry Potter fan because I'm speaking from the heart here. You've provided a community to us all where we are free and so respectful for one another and our opinions and that's a reflection on the four of you and I just want to thank you for being there for my darkest day which was three months ago when my father um, collapsed with a cardiac arrest if it wasn't for your podcast I would not have made the friends I have today to get me through that tough time so truly thank you from the bottom of my heart for providing all this to us. Um, it's not unnoticed to the fans and keep it up girls, you're doing an amazing job. I have been a Swiss here for about six months now. I started listening when I went on a 16 hour road trip and I had nothing to do but sleep. And so I thought listening to my first podcast would be a good idea. And I thought, what do I love more than life? Harry Potter. So I just searched up Harry Potter on podcasts and I found Swish and Flick and I immediately fell in love. Katie, Megan, Sarah, and Tiffany just from the beginning make you want to listen to more. It's like you're reading the Harry Potter books and like I need to hear the next one. I read Harry Potter for the first time during the darkest time in my life and it took me to a new place, a place to escape when I needed it the most, and that is what Swish and Flick does for me now. When I feel lonely, I go to the Facebook group and I listen to the girls again, even if I've already listened to the episode. Whenever I'm listening to Swish and Flick, I feel like I'm sitting right there with them. And that is what I expect from a podcast, and I literally cannot listen to any other one with the same feeling that I have when I listen to Swish and Flick. They honestly make me want to pack up my bags and move to Ohio just to live near them. Thank you for bringing the Harry Potter universe all together and making people realize how great Harry Potter really is and how life-changing reading the books can be. Sarah, thank you for always making me laugh and literally pee my pants every time I listen to you. Tiffany, thank you for giving the best recaps known to the human race. Katie, thank you for being the face of Hufflepuff. You make me proud to be a Hufflepuff. Megan, thank you for showing the world that Slytherins are amazing and funny and nice. They're not just ambitious and mean and bullies. They are you and they are amazing and they share what they believe in and that is exactly what you do. There are no words and not enough thank yous in this world for everything that you have done, not just for me, but for everybody else. I have been a Swisher since about episode seven, so almost from the beginning. Just wanted to hop on here and wish you guys a happy one year anniversary. Um, Katie, Meg, Tiffany, and Sarah, you guys have uh, just created a community amongst us in the Swish and Flick world. Um, you know, whether it's a Facebook post or the group chat that we have, if I'm having a bad day, I know I have somebody to pull me up. Um, it's just, you know, I've, I've created lifelong friends. I have people to go visit all over the world um and i can't wait to do that someday so thank you guys for everything um keep on doing what you're doing it, it's a great job and i can't wait to watch the world of swish and flick grow even more i have been a swisher uh, since march or april ish congratulations on oh, your one year anniversary it's amazing that you guys able to make such a wonderful, amazing podcast for all of us to listen to. I have a two-hour commute every day, and uh, your podcast is the reason I enjoy my drive now. You have brought an amazing community of people together who have never, ever had a chance to meet or discuss or talk. 
um, if it hadn't been for you guys, we've created a safe environment for us to talk about those things. Um, even if we don't all agree on everything, um, we can still enjoy discussing about Harry Potter. So thank you and congratulations again. I've been a switcher for almost since the beginning. Um, and I just want to say Megan, Katie, and Sarah and Tiffany, you guys are amazing. Um, this group that you have created is just so welcoming and supportive and it just means so, so much to me to have you guys to listen to and other people to talk to. Um, you guys are amazing and I love you all. That was one of you guys' first story shout outs and it was one of the coolest moments when I was listening to the podcast when you first released it to hear my name and it was just this moment that I couldn't describe and the things that you girls do for all these people is so awesome like you make this world where we all can connect and feel accepted and listening to your voices every week it feels like we're part of something bigger and I just love it and I love you guys thank you so much for what you've done for all of us and happy one year anniversary I've been a quote unquote swisher for about a year now I happened to come across the podcast right before the second episode was released, so I've been a part of this incredible group from the get-go. I want to give a huge shout out to our hosts for cultivating such an incredible community. Through this group, I've formed friendships with Squishers both near and far, and I feel like I've finally found my people. Thank you, Tiffany, Katie, Megan, and Sarah, for all that you do for us. And don't let the muggles get you down. I have been a Swisher since the very beginning. I think there were only one or two episodes posted when I first started listening. Um, I am so happy that Katie, uh, Sarah, Megan, and Tiffany came together to create such a wonderful podcast um, for all of us and then in turn created such a, a safe and loving community of um, friends. I've made so many friends since the beginning um, from being a part of this group and I'm very, very thankful um, for that and such a safe place um, to tell people what you're going through or any talking about life and anything like that. I'm really enjoying being a part of such a wonderful community and um, I can't wait to see what more you guys have for us and what more will come out of this. I'm really excited for um, maybe even possibly meeting you guys someday um, and listening to more and more content that you guys provide us. It's awesome. I love it. Happy year anniversary. We love you. I started listening to Swish and Flick in April 2018, so I've been a Swisher for four months, and in that four months, my life has changed for the Potter. But, um, anyway, um, I just wanted to say thank you for reintroducing me into the music world. I felt like I've been away from home for a few years, and you guys will come back um, thank you for creating a podcast. Your hard work, determination, wits, and bravery um, shine through in every podcast that you make. I truly enjoy diving in deep into each chapter and analyzing it in new ways. Um, you guys bring so many different perspectives to the table. And I appreciate all the different insights you guys bring. Um, so from your Swisher family to you, thank you for everything that you've done. I just first want to say happy anniversary to Swish and Flick. I have been listening since probably October of last year. So not since the very beginning, but I feel like I caught on fairly quickly. And the community that you guys have created has blown my mind. Yes, you have rekindled my love for Harry Potter, um, but you have also created this group of people who I can laugh with and cry with and honestly call my friends. You know, I have made friendships through you all that I will cherish forever. Swish and Flick, happy anniversary. I can't wait to see what the next year and the next year and the next year has in store for all of us. I've been listening to the podcast since about February. 
And I just wanted to thank you for all your hard work and for putting this podcast together because it has really reignited my love for Harry Potter and the Wizarding World. I love listening along each week and it feels like I'm hanging out with a bunch of friends just talking about Harry Potter and laughing and sometimes crying. (laughs) And I really appreciate the Facebook community that you guys have helped build. Everyone is so supportive and it's so nice to be um, among other people who love Harry Potter as much as I do. It's pretty much the only reason I go on Facebook anymore. (laughs) So um, keep doing what you're doing and I hope to be listening for many years to come. I have been listening to Swish and Flick since early October of last year. So Swish and Flick, there's Megan. What polydactyl cats are a thing. And Katie? Katie, it's your line. Where? Hogwarts Arugula. And Tiffany? What? I couldn't hear you over being awesome. Hey, Megan. And then, of course, Sarah. She's the best Ravenclaw. Oh, yes, darling. I agree. She is the best Ravenclaw. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even have the courage to make this video. I love you guys! Always. I've been a Swisher for about five months now. You might know me from the group as the guy who is going back from episode one and counting all of the colors, the numbers, and the Dear Joe moments. I've listened to the podcast probably about four or five times all the way through now, and this just gave me an idea. You guys have actually done a lot from creating the group to just all the hilarious moments in the podcast. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Don't let the muggles keep you down. Happy one year anniversary. Thank you so much for starting this amazing podcast and community. And I'm so grateful to share in this milestone with you. I've been a Swisher from the beginning. And I must say, I never thought a podcast could change my life so much. I'm starting to develop lifelong friendships and have really found people that make me feel welcome and home just like Hogwarts. So thank you so much for everything that you've done and everything you continue to do. And we can't wait for the journey to continue. I've been a Swisher since early June. For various reasons, uh, I completely missed the first Harry Potter hype. And when I eventually did read the books, I kind of felt like I only have a visitor's pass and like I don't really have a claim to this wizarding world. But you lovely ladies have opened up this whole world for me in a way that makes me feel less like a muggle and more like a muggle-born witch who of course is just as welcome at Hogwarts as any pureblood. Listening to you girls feels like I'm having an awesomely nerdy, hilarious and deep conversation with a bunch of friends. So thank you so much for guiding me through the brick wall onto platform nine and three quarters and for bringing together such a beautiful group of people as the Swisher fam. Happy birthday! Thank you guys so much for a first awesome year of content. I found you guys about 10 months ago when I was looking for something to listen to on my long drives between where I live now and my hometown. Spent a lot of time with family last fall as my granddad unexpectedly became sick um, and passed away last fall. Uh, You guys made those car rides a lot more bearable, brought a lot more laughter to them, and uh, I could not be more grateful for that. Since then, I've continued to listen week after week, and you guys have continued to bring that laughter and that love. I have done the math. We have roughly three years uh, left of original content of this first reread, and I think I can speak for all of us in saying that I am so pumped to continue listening and spending every week with you guys. Um, It may just seem like from the outside that you guys record a Harry Potter podcast every week, uh, but I hope you know that to us Swishers, it's so much more than that. You guys have cultivated a safe space, a community that feels like family, and for that we are eternally grateful. Happy one year, you guys. I've been a Swisher since January this past year on my way to the Harry Potter celebration. Um, One year for you guys. Wow, congratulations. It's been such a pleasure. 
being able to revisit the Potter series in such a fun way. Um, everything you do, you guys have such such energy and such love for the book. It helps reignite my passionate love for the book, and I just wanted to thank you for, you know, keeping going and giving us an episode every week and being so wonderful and compassionate and for creating such a great community that I think any of us could go to and talk to any single other swisher and you find an immediate friend. So thank you. Love you guys. I'm recording this at five in the morning because it's the only time I have that the baby's not running around screaming. So I just wanted to quickly tell you ladies that y'all are absolutely amazing. Everything you do for the podcast, making the podcast, the time that you take out of your lives to do something that everybody enjoys so much is greatly, greatly appreciated. You make my work day worth it. You make my work day actually go by a little faster. And again, thank you for everything. I've been listening to Swish and Flick for just under a year now. I started listening once the girls were about maybe four or five episodes in. Um, it came to me at a time when I was really quite down. I was doing a placement which I didn't really enjoy um, and I had an hour and a half commute twice a day. So Swish and Flick kind of really help with that and now I'm working in a better job um, not that commute but I still love listening to Swish and Flick on my commute um, I've said it quite a few times um, on the Facebook group but I really feel like I found my people in this podcast um, I, I love it and I love that people will talk so openly about Harry Potter and just everything that, that we like you know I have friends who are into the wizarding world uh, but none of them are as obsessed as I am um, and it's just so great to be with such a loving community and Tiffany, Katie, Megan and Sarah, you are awesome. Oh, Swisher for two months, completely caught up. Gotta thank each of you guys individually. Tiffany, I'm a professional organizer and a substitute teacher and I gotta tell you, girlfriend, love how organized these podcasts are. It's like a great educational experience. I can tell you're a fabulous teacher. Please don't stop. Katie, Puff Pride, love you so much. You really make me feel like I'm sitting at the table with you guys because I see so much of myself and like the way that you talk and like interjecting yourself in the conversation. Just please, please don't stop being you. Love it. Megan, I love your work ethic. I can tell you work so hard on this podcast and you have redeemed Slytherins for me. You have. You're like the cursed child of this podcast. It's good. Sarah, thank you, thank you, thank you for making me laugh. I truly appreciate it. I get all of your musical references. You guys mean so much to me. I, this is like my favorite thing to do. I just reread Harry Potter and listen to your podcast, so I need more content. I've been listening to Swish and Flick since last September, and you guys are just amazing. There are not enough words, and I'm sure that you're going to hear this a million times from everybody, but I had just moved to New York and I didn't really know anyone and I am normally pretty good at getting out there and making friends, so not really connecting with anyone where I lived was really hard for me um, because I really missed those social relationships and you guys were a really big lifesaver and you made me feel like I had friends and I created this awesome community and I made friends and in fact I made a friend shout out to Katie I have been listening to you guys I think since you were on episode like eight of the first book I I can't believe we're already on the third one so thank you guys for deciding to put the podcast together and sharing your guys's inside conversations with us I've honestly never listened to a podcast until um, I found you guys. I love it when you guys do Scamander stories or as Florence would say, Scamanda stories because Florence is always here. It literally cracks me up all the time. So thank you for bringing happiness into the world and making my swim workouts in endurable. I can endure them. <laughs> so thank you guys and happy anniversary and to many, many more and I just don't want it to end. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love it. Love it, love it. Yeah. I've known Katie and Megan for about five years now, but only just discovered Swish and Flick in January. I went through a really rough breakup. My ex-boyfriend was a drug addict, and I was still madly in love with him when I left, but it was time to start loving myself, and... I knew they had a podcast, so I decided to check it out, and having all four girls 
anytime that I was upset or thinking about calling him, it was just an escape and a way to completely forget about life and be taken into back into the world of Harry Potter and I don't think they'll ever know exactly what this podcast has done for me um, but it really has helped me a lot to move on and I will forever be grateful to those girls. I feel like they're family and I feel like I have a family of another 1500 people with the Swish and Flake podcast group and I'm so excited to meet some of them at Potterfest and just thank you guys so much for everything you've done for me and for everyone else as well. Don't let the muggles get you down. Oh also check out the Snape shirt. I know you guys love him so much. Mwah. I've been a Swisher for six months now. Listening along with y'all it's like I'm reading Harry Potter from a completely different perspective. Even though I've read this series at least 15 times, y'all seem to pick up on things that I'd never paid attention to before. I almost get giddy with excitement because it feels like I'm reading the series for the first time all over again. Thank you for being such a fun and inviting group. I love listening to episodes and I love the community that has been built on this Facebook group. So thank you to our four head mistresses for creating Switch and Flick last year. Hope I get to continue to read along with y'all for the next few years to come. I think I've been listening to Swish and Flick since like September, October 2017. Um, and just to put a name to the face, I'm the one who had leukemia and thyroid cancer. Um, so as I had stated before, uh, Harry Potter has literally changed my life and you guys have just helped me with that. Um, this is like super minor, but like you guys kind of opened me up to the world of podcasts and um, it made me so much inter so much more interested in listening to like other podcasts, other people's stories and other things. So that was really cool for me um, to explore. And also you guys just always cheer me up. Um, this is probably like super weird, but I just feel like I have like four friends like with me to talk about Harry Potter. Like I'll be listening to your podcast and I'll literally be like talking back to you guys. So I can't listen to anyone's around because it's just weird like I'm just talking with you guys are there I literally like participate in your conversation so it's pretty funny but um it's just nice to have like like other people and even like the Facebook community just to like talk about Harry Potter because nobody in my family really gets that um so yeah just like having you guys there to talk about when I'm like super down it's always nice Harry Potter always cheers me up but especially like listening to you guys who are like loud and like excited and like um all, like just happy and cheerful it really um it really like cheers me up and it makes me happy, makes me excited. And, and yeah, so um, thank you guys so much for everything you've done. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to listen to more. Happy one year anniversary. And oh, he's smiling for them. <laughs> uh, we want to say thank you for every listen to your podcast on the way to and from work and in the car. And we love, uh, we love listening to you guys. We feel like you guys are our friends and you're his extra aunts. And uh, we love you so much, and thanks for making us laugh and for uh, helping us fall back in love with Harry Potter. Love you guys. Congrats, congrats on a year. I'm a Gryffindor, and I found Swish and Flick when the girl said in our fitness group that they were starting Harry Potter podcast. And uh, I've been listening from the first episode, and it's been so fun to have Harry Potter back in my life. It made me realize how much I love it again and just how awesome all the Swishers are. I started listening to Swish and Fleck last October. My boyfriend and I were going to Wizarding World of Harry Potter for the first time, and my sister, who's like a huge um, podcast person, was like, hey, like, find one! So I was like, okay, not my thing. So, type in Harry Potter, and the first thing that popped up was Swish and Fleck. So, I mean, within minutes, I was hooked. The laughing and the friendship and like the just the passion that these four amazing women have was just overwhelming and it hasn't disappointed every single day this podcast is a part of my life like I am that person that I start sentences with this podcast I listen to and everybody knows which one I'm talking about um just you know it's become a family and I can't thank Tiffany, Megan, Katie, and Sarah enough for creating this amazing community that's just there all the time, no matter what. And that's just real magic. Uh, and I've been listening to the podcast for about five months now. Um, I just want to thank you for just kind of rekindling my love for Harry Potter. It wasn't gone, but just kind of 
you talking through the books and analyzing the characters, especially in the Felix Files, has definitely given me another set of eyes just because I pretty much had my own views on certain characters um, unless I was brought up with other characters. And just talking with everyone in the group and interacting with everyone is just something that I've enjoyed doing pretty daily now. And I just want to thank you for doing that for me. And I just want to say to Katie, Megan, Tiffany, and Sarah that um, I thank you for furthering my education in the Harry Potter world. Um, you have fed my soul, my Snape and Dumbledore loving soul tremendously, and I appreciate it. And secondly, I want to say thank you for creating this Swisher family community. Um, we may all never meet in person, but we mean the world to each other now, and I appreciate that. Thank you. I have been a part of the Swish and Flick community since August of 2017. I instantly became a Patreon, and I went straight for the Phoenix level because I knew that I wanted to be part of this community as it grew, as the podcast grew. Back then, it was in its infancy, and I am so thankful to you ladies for this community that you have created, this world that you have created has been amazing. I have met so many amazing people. I have been on a podcast, which is like super cool. Um, I just can't thank you enough for creating something that has given me so many friends and so many connections and being able to talk to people that I would have never talked to in my entire life. Um, thank you so much for all your hard work and you guys have no idea how much you mean to all of us. Happy birthday. I've been part of Swish and Flick probably for about nine months now. Swish and Flick just isn't a podcast, it's a family. It's love, trust, it's the magic of the wisdom world bringing together people from all over the world. Who knew that when I found this podcast I'd also find a group of friends who are there for everyone no matter what. Happy one year anniversary and here's to many more. I just wanted to say happy one year anniversary. I am uh, been listening since about August and I just have to say that it, this has been the place that I go to feel more like me because there's nobody else really around me that I'm really close to that is as obsessed with the series as I am. So thank you to each of you girls. You each bring to the podcast what I feel like Hogwarts brings to all of us. And that's your personalities, and that's you, and it lets all of us be us. So thank you so much. Go Swish and Flick. I just wanted to say a really quick congratulations on your first year of Swish and Flick. Um, Congratulations, I just think it's an amazing achievement what you guys have done just in a year, how far you've reached, how many people you've touched, the community that you've created. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you for all your time and effort and the work that you put into the podcast and into creating this magical place for all of us. I, I personally am just so happy and grateful to be a Swisher um, and we all love you. So congratulations and I can't wait to see where Swish and Flip goes in the next year. Thanks, guys. I mean, they say, oh, <laughs> sassy. sassy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the lightning bolt round. I because he was up all night patrolling the force. 
floor corridor. Or shut the front door. Yeah. Ooh, I got another one. What what on the spot? Make up some um magic words. Oh. Like fake magic. Oh, I God. Bibbity bobbity. No. <laughs> That's not made up. <laughs> Cheating. Snorfus Dorfus. <laughs> I don't know. Poopity hoopity. <laughs> pop pop. Pop pop. <laughs> Swish and flick. No. no. <laughs> Silence. So dead quiet. I have a home I never knew I owned I found it out just this year A place so free and comfortable A place completely devoid of fear I had a family that I'd never met Until we found each other here Sometimes our blood is just our blood And our choices are what makes it clear Thank you to Swish and Flick Thank you to Meg and Tiff Thank you to Sarah and Katie for making room Didn't know I required it But I need every bit Thank you to Swish and Flick I have a bogart deep inside my head Ridiculous, you shout with glee You turn these evil images Into support and positivity You're creating Dumbledore's army Who'll be a Lumos in the night And guardian our spirits up be a patroness shining bright. Thank you to Swish and Flick. Thank you to Meg and Tiff. Thank you to Sarah and Katie for making room. Didn't know I required it, but I need every bit. Thank you to Swish and Flick. If I were to make one last refrain, the words I feel there are too few. Thank you for this community and everything you do.